Hey guys, uh, Prince of Macedon here, and I'm joined by an awesome Men of War Assault Squad 2 commentator, Strat29. G'day, g'day, from Down Under, uh, Strat29 here. Happy to be <laughs> casting with the infamous Realm Total War player and commentator, Pom. <laughs> Affectionately called Pom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I appreciate that. No worries. <laughs> so, you know, we're going to try this new... Uh, Replay feature. I think um, Strats tried it already. This will be my first time trying it. Yep. Uh, this is actually the spectator yeah. one. So this is the, this is free in the patch. There's a replay. Oh, sorry, spectator. Yeah, there's a replay feature, but that's in the DLC, which you can watch something um, that's already been played, and you can share it with your friends. I'm excited. There's issues with that before. Um, this is the reason why we're doing it live now, because we couldn't. Um, basically, my replay was running faster than yours because of the performance, basically, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah, it was way faster. Like, I was at 8 minutes, and he was already at, like, 10 minutes. Yeah, so I was out so of sync, think yeah, when he pointed out things going wrong, I was saying, wait, uh, there's, a, there's a vehicle on the field. Can't you see it? Are you stupid, Prince of Macedon? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like, what's a jeep look like? I don't see a jeep. <laughs> uh, so, um, uh, who are these guys? Oh, we have uh, yeah. two people here. Oh, yes, this is actually a practice game, because um, we couldn't get a tournament game going live. So, Simmons is from USA. Sorry, guys. Uh, Jutska from USA too. Both of these guys are actually uh, favourites for their groups. Um, Jutska is, um, no offence Simmons, but he's probably the, the better player, so we'll probably, uh, Simmons is definitely the underdog for this one. Simmers the underdog? Definitely, yep. Okay. I will go for Simmers. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I will be very neutral in my commentary. Uh, I'll be going for Simmers, most definitely. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Just is actually a, a popular minimal commentator too. Um, he's friends with uh, Duplex and Shermanator too. I don't know if you're friends with them. I'm pretty sure you've done stuff with Duplex before, haven't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done tons of fun stuff with Duplex. Even I've done some, some music videos with Duplex. Oh. oh, that's right. I saw that. That was horrible. Did you really? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you must unhear what you have heard. <laughs> a, bit, a little bit off key, perhaps. <laughs> Just a little bit. I think it was the wind. It, it, it messed up my voice that day. Oh, yeah, but, true. Yeah, any other day, I'm, I sound beautiful. Uh, I, I believe that, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, um, really quick, I'm, I'm going to put the link to uh, Strat29's channel, and I'll also put the link to uh, Jutska's channel. Oh, thanks for that. Yeah, that'll be great, man. I'll put yeah. the link to and your channel. Does Simmers have one? Uh, Simmers? Yeah, he oh, does. Uh, he's just started, though, but um, yeah, you might, ah. might see more content, so thanks for that. Yeah, yeah what, what's throwing us a link to? Awesome. Yeah, it'd be good for the Minimal community. There's not many big casts that really cover this game. That's uh, great for you to cast this. Thanks. Oh yeah, yeah. Th thanks for inviting me to this. This is awesome. Sweet. Like. Um. So by the way, guys, this is direct IP. Just let um, everyone else know. In Men of War or Soul you can host games via IP directly, so you don't have to go through the internet, and it works a lot faster. So if you have friends, um, if you play with your friends, it's actually better to use direct IP. Nice. It really does help. Um. And is there anyone can see who's? Oh, guys, yeah, never mind. Cool. It seems the faster. The German. It seems fast for you, isn't it? Like the yeah, performance it, is uh, not too bad for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a bit faster. And I'm also trying a new uh, game recorder on the uh, advice of Brett, and also because I couldn't record on Fraps for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow play all the way. <laughs> yeah, th th this could be a new thing for me. Hopefully, it turns out okay. Um, so we see uh, just go with Assault Squad, and also same as Simmons down the center. Uh, both of them trying to jostle the position right now. Uh -huh. And on the eastern point, we see Jutska getting it with his infantry. No, no, um, nothing from Jutska there. And on the western point, we see Simmers, so both taking uh, each other's side flanks. I'm not sure if you've moved the east and west part. You see on the top left mini map where it says yep. west and east on the sides? Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, nice grenade though, Jutska. So is that a thing though? Um, starting off with a with a lot of infantry squads, like assault assault squads, rushing the point. Yeah, in one, yeah, one v ones especially. It's really all about infantry at the start, um, up to maybe even the third squad. Sometimes you can rush a vehicle at the uh, third squad. Uh huh. Um, yeah, it really is all about infantry. Um, some people like it, some people don't. But that's a one v one thing in team games. Maybe not so much. Gotcha. Um, you see that riverway? Um, just because in that riverway down the bottom, um, in the bridge, you in the center. Uh huh. Um, he's got a guy at the very bottom. It's really good for throwing grenades over. Um, and the water also dampens the grenades. So if a guy in there, it can be really annoying for the enemy. Oh, nice. That's cool. Um, pretty cool thing about this replay feature is you can actually zoom in and watch these, watch the beautiful action up close. 
Yeah, and without the fog of war, so you can see both. This is very new. We've been asking for this for ages at the mineral community. Mm -hmm. You can actually see both teams pretty good now, which is awesome. Yeah. Awesome us. Yeah, this is sorely needed in this game. Like, they actually happen so fast. Yes. The live commentaries are still kind of complex. Yep. Feel free to ask any, any question in the gameplay, man. I'll see if I can help. Oh, sure. Um. Anyway. So we get Germany versus uh, what, USA. Are there any, any advantages using for either faction in this matchup? Oh, in it depends. In a 1v1, I can, I'll just talk about 1v1, I guess. Uh, with USA, they do have better infantry because of the M1 Garands. Um, they can really shoot out and win any shootouts, most likely. Uh -huh. um, but the difference isn't too much. Um, the thing is with USA, your assault squads are more expensive. So you you kind of get you could probably get outswarmed sometimes by German infantry. Nice. Um, but USA does have um, they're more of a rush nation. Uh huh. Um, with because they got better medium tanks and light tanks. Yeah. Um, but C C is doing a really good job. With it. It's really been infantry versus infantry right now. But Simmons is actually pushing the front line of Jutska's center. He's got to the cover um, using Jutska's cover. So. He's the other side of the bridge, and Jessica doesn't really have any cover to the center point. Mm -hmm. And it's preventing him from pushing to the center. It's very, very nice infantry movements. It is, it is pretty excellent. Now, how about in the terms of, um, on the, uh, or sorry, in the, the category of uh, armor? Who do you think has the edge there? Uh, uh, yeah, basically, I think USA does until the enemy can afford a Panzer H. Um, you got the immediate tanks. Do you see where it says? Um, you know what the Panzer H is? Um, I don't know about the... I, I see it has some, some side armor on there. Oh, right, yep. I think, yeah, basically it's 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 medium light tank. Uh, once the Germans reach that, um, they do have the edge, because it's quite hard for USA to counter. Uh -huh. um, yep. But it's generally quite even, to be honest. Interesting. Yeah, I'd say the game is, from my limited, limited experience, it does seem pretty, uh, pretty balanced. I guess it's just different tactics to yep. achieve your aims. Definitely, it is. Yep. It's uh, the last patch was actually really good for balance too for us. Um, there's, there's quite a few good gotcha. changes. Oh, um, this armored vehicle. Is this a good idea using for the Americans? Um, this is a half track. It's actually uh -huh. very cheap. Um, it's 150 MP and it can uh, mow down infantry um, when you get behind the cover. Like right now, it's shooting at infantry behind cover. It doesn't do yep. much damage. But if you wanted to, you could risk it to go further on and flank them all, um, which I think is oh. now. It's pretty much the USA's only option. He's smacking into uh, that. To do it, so oh, oh my no! <laughs> Eighty rifle to the face there. So that's the risk, I guess. Um, it's quite you can counter it. Oh, that was badass. Mind you, eighty rifle. Nice yeah. explosions, definitely. But eighty rifles are definitely not the greatest um, in this game. They're pretty much luck based because you can you can hit the wrong part of the half track uh -huh. and dismiss. So, but it, it definitely that was, hit its mark there. That was <laughs> it intense. Was, I, I'm like zoomed in on that half track right now. <laughs> <laughs> so eight eight zero so far, five minutes in. Um, Simmons is actually holding up quite well. Um, and Jessica just lost the half track. So that means Simmons does have a bit more cool. Oh, one thing I've got to let you know, um, when you press tab, don't double click on the other uh, opponent to watch them. Because you can see their resources, but you don't want to do that now because there's a bug. If you do okay. that, the game goes out <laughs> so let's, let's not do that. <laughs> um, I don't know if you remember, um, earlier um, one of the oh. guys said, what the F? Do you know why he said that? Yes, it was a long time ago. Um, I actually didn't notice when he said that. Yeah, uh, sorry mate. I, oh no, it's fine. I, he, he he's wrote W2F. I, was like, I was like, what is that all about? <laughs> um, so he's got a 2 2, two in the now, so basically he's got the white vehicle. Um, Germans have great, really great um, white vehicles. They're a bit more expensive uh -huh. than the half-track but they take out infantry with one shot. So right now, Jutska's aim is to really either avoid that vehicle or counter it. And you can see he's bringing up a light AT gun, M3. Oh, yeah. That's it. I'm not sure if you see that. Yep. Um, so that's uh, hopefully he's going to plonk it down somewhere in the center to cover, uh -huh. to maybe cover both flanks. So move it between the eastern point and the center point so you can have good range gotcha. of everything. I have to ask you, like, how, how often do you use direct control? But I find it to be kind of uh, micro-intensive whenever... Uh, yeah, it's quite gimmicky. I never use it. I use it rarely. Um, for one grenading 
Mar you know, you know, you have to, you sometimes cook a grenade. You know how to cook a grenade, right? You have to hold yeah. the button down. Oh, no, actually, I, I didn't know that. Sorry. Oh, yes, I do that occasionally. Out. Oh, right. Um, yeah, nice, nice, nice shot there. You can see game veterancy. You see the little icons that appeared after the M3. That's a new feature in oh, the awesome. late, latest patch. Uh, yeah, units actually gain veterancy, so the more kills they get, the better they get at shooting and accuracy That's and amazing. stuff like that. Yeah, one of the biggest changes. Um, yeah, uh, sorry, um, with grenades you can, you can basically, uh -huh. when you select a grenade, go into direct control, you can hold your left mouse button and cook it in your hand, so when you throw it, oh, it wow. explodes on impact. Um, so I do that sometimes, but it is micro-intensive. Um, and with tanks, I usually generally just right-click on the tank to attack because um, yeah, you, it, it, the AI yeah. does aim very well, to be honest, and it's yeah. I'll think that's like for people like me who doesn't want to use doesn't want to micro that much in this game. I, I, that, that's what I do too. I just I I'd rather see the you know the bigger picture. Yeah, that's definitely um, that's definitely um, something I do as well. Um, because with, with um, yeah, this game, I find this is a great strategy game because macro is actually mm -hmm. more important than micro a lot of times. I I'm so glad you said that. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm too slow for so much StarCraft. Hate. Why, do, why do you have a micro? <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, micro is Hell overrated. Yeah. 100%. I'm not the fastest player in the, in the game, but I, yeah, I'm, it's, I'm really, yeah, basically awesome. tough to beat, so. Um, so... We see uh, so far Jitska's uh, Simmons is doing very well to hold Jitska. Uh, 17 to 4. He's got so lots of cover in the center. He's got sniper, I... he's got sniper in that little window. I, I, I see, I see the, 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 the red there, the target. Oh, yeah, I see him. That's... I think. Yeah, it's a really good position. It's just shooting, oh, out him, shooting yeah. all of Jitska's troops right now. And especially his fighting rangers. Uh, Jitska's got oh. some elite marksman rangers and they get outshot. Um, yeah. Snipers really um, can take out anything. Rangers actually have more hit points than other troops, but the sniper doesn't differentiate between the normal infantry. They just one shot everything, so you don't want to do that. That's awesome. I mean, yeah, with this replay, it's so helpful because you can actually watch the action where you want to watch without having. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, it's, it's so happy that <laughs> came in this match. Wow, he's got two snipers on the field, man. So he's spent two snipers on veterans. He's got two veteran snipers in the field, and really, um, this can't do anything infantry um, shootout. So he's got to really run in there. See, so he's running all these guys to the river, trying to avoid a shootout yeah, because that's, that's their a bad sniper spot, though, wrecking right? Because it's, because toss grenades or the shoot down there. Um, oh, it's actually better down the bottom because he can't yeah. see the enemy can't see him in the riverway, and also. Uh, the riverway dampens the explosion, so it's hard to I gotcha. keep, um, kill the guy down the woodway. I think uh, Jutska is trying to use his crop to shoot the buildings. Mm -hmm. um, he's having a hard time for some reason. <laughs> Nasty this flamer. This thing is badass. I don't think I've seen this yet. I love the flamer. If I have, I, I don't recall. It's, uh, yeah, it's a three... Uh, three point is special point for um, USA. It's actually one of the state really? units to win. Maybe that's why um, I never so went to win this out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, what do you think are the are the, the biggest uh, changes that the uh, the um, new updates made, like the the new DLC and? Yeah. So I don't want to target anything, but I've got a really good explanation video that. which does exactly the big changes on that. But I can I can talk about it briefly now because um, I'll just be reading myself. Uh -huh. Basically, um, the veterancy, um, which yeah, obviously you, you'll use your troops more cautiously, I guess, to not lose them. Um, so um, stamina, stamina's changed. So all the elite troops can actually run um, basically double the length or normally. Oh, that that's good. And also you have unit changes such as um, the one pointer scout for UK. Um, when you, they, usually, uh -huh. they used to come with one guy, now it comes with two guys. And USA, you've got Devil's Brigade for two special points that comes with four guys instead of three. And now you get two bazookas with it. Um, and what else is there? Uh, there's quite a few more, I can't keep remember, but they're all in that video, man. <laughs> so you can oh, check it out there. <laughs> That's cool, yeah, I'll, I'll put a link to that video. So, um, yeah, well, just is actually coming back, so he's got the center point. Uh, I, I wish I could ping something to you so I can talk about it. If I ping, I think I might let the player know. I'll just ask them. Uh, no, I can't ping. Can't ping. 
You, you, know, you know you can ping them out. Gotcha. By oh, there is oh, nice ammo one. drop. Um, so... Yeah, I was like... Oh, is that new? The way ammo new. works is different. You see it's got a circle around it? Any units you put yeah. around that will reload their ammo automatically. Over time. Um, awesome. And that was dropped by that MG. You see that Brandenburger with the MG34 shooting? Right next to it? Um, he, he comes with an ammo signal yeah. uh, grenade. So he just threw that for some ammunition. Yeah. Wicked. So a bit of a standoff now. Um, just trying to outshoot each other. Um, the front line seems like they're settled down. There's not much toing and froing. Um, not sure why Jessica holds the center though, because Simmons does have quite a lot of firepower with two snipers out there. Yeah, I, I feel like those snipers have got an un unbelievable amount of kills already. Tab, yeah, like, I've seen them like tab, pick man. off. Veteran sniper, 18 kills, one of them. See that? Oh my god! <laughs> <It's nuts. laughs> oh. so, so, so using that, that new experience thing, they must oh, have really good at stats man. now, right? They're, they're, they're actually, their reload rate, sorry. Um, their attack speed would be faster, so reload speed. Oh my god. You can see the H. It's exciting. You can see the H out now. Um, this is actually, um, the, this is when the Germans actually are better. This gun can take out um, USA mediums quite easily. Oh, here it is. And you can see how the croc, Jutska's croc, it's angled slightly. Yeah. You see how it's angled? That actually makes mm -hmm. the armor a bit stronger. Does it really? Yep. Some tanks you can angle a lot, like the Tiger. Um, if you angle it 39 degrees, um, that's the optimum angle because the side armor is weaker. So it really depends on how much side armor you have. If the tank has weak side armor, you want to angle it less, like um, just because now. Yeah. Doing. So shots can bounce. So do you think this? Do you think this Panzer H is going to take out that that croc? Yeah, it will eventually. Um, not sure. I think I think Simmons can't see it right now because he doesn't have line of sight. That's why he's not firing at it. Oh, okay. The only chance for the croc to do anything is to either get maybe approach it from the buildings so the H can't shoot it, and then when you're at close range, you can take it out because we call it a 50-50 play in um, basically men of war or talk speak when you get into positions where both tanks can take each other out because they're in uh, close yeah. range. Yeah. Obviously, the lighter tank or the weaker tank. Um, can only kill it close. I gotcha. Well, he's firing now. It's a bloody good game, hey? Oh! Totally, oh, tracked. Yeah. He's gonna get it now. <laughs> There's definitely no escape now. Oh, well, oh my god. One thing smokes. Uh, There's one thing um, I, we haven't seen too often smokes being used in this patch. Um, you can probably uh -huh. throw smokes in front of that crop, and the H might be able to see it. Oh! See that 80 bazooka? Oh, I saw that! Far out lucky! Oh, no, no, it it didn't oh, do anything, no. yeah. Do you, do you see the H's um, skirts on the side? And do you see the little, yeah, yeah. little um, where it hit? You can actually see where it hit. Oh, I do, yeah. <laughs> that that, that actually blocks bazookas, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The detail yeah, is I, awesome. I was worried about that. It, it's cool that they actually show that, where it gets hit. Mm. So cool. Like, with the, yeah, with the replay, you can actually see these details now. Mm. It's awesome. Yeah, it's I am zoomed all the way in right now. This is actually a really close game, man. It's really, <laughs> really lucky that we've got this one. 25 to 21. Uh, jostling for the center. Yeah, this Ooh. is the Oh, bang! Oh, bang! <laughs> awesome. <laughs> hey, you called it, though. That, that thing was gonna <laughs> get popped. <laughs> there he goes. Um, far out. So... Yeah. Jessica does hold the center still, but not for long. See, see that river way Jessica holds? Sorry, inside the river. He's been just camping yeah. through that river. Like even though he didn't have um, lots of troops in the top to shoot out, he's just holding just by that little sneaky river. Yeah. Does it see that? He's just holding by throwing grenades from there. Mm -hmm. Um, working well. Oh, you see the bazooka awesome. sneaking? See that's. Where's it at? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Devil's Brigade. Oh, this is the new unit which you get two or two bazookas with uh, two special oh, I'm sorry. So let's it, see what happens. It, did it spawn? No, no, it's near the H. It's near the H. Is it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see it. I see it. Nice. Oh, <laughs> oh, he got away with that one. I noticed it too late, uh, but oh, he's, he's getting away, away with murder. Yep, he's run, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> he's running the hell out of there. So right now, um, Jutska, you see, Jutska's got a half track because he killed the H. He knows there's nothing that can take it out, so he's going to try follow it up quickly by yeah. attacking with the half track since there's nothing to take it out. Gotcha. So let's see how this goes. 
Yeah, sorry, I missed that for I was like, I don't see him, I don't see him. And then I, <laughs> I noticed it after, once he exploded it. Well, there's a vehicle coming yep, from the yep. Germans too, looks like. Oh, really? Oh, that's what looks okay. Halfcrack's got no chance versus that, basically. But it's all about. The Halfcrack is expendable, in a way, but it's very cheap. So as yeah. long as you do a decent amount of damage, it's okay. But you can see he's knocking over all the stone walls. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. He's taking out the, uh, yeah. the obstacles. Cover. Hmm. Yep, so basically he's leaving Simmons with less cover. Here's the looks he was talking about. He's trying to get it. Oh, no. oh he was trying to get. <laughs> he was trying to get really close so he can penetrate. Half yeah. track, 50 cal on that can penetrate at really close range, but not too far. Gotcha. So, would you say that half track was uh, cost effective in that performance? Hmm, that's actually debatable. Um, I'm not sure. Um, because the only. You didn't kill too much, but destroying the cover? Uh -huh. Maybe. But here comes a Stuart. You see the other tank? This will counter that looks quite easily. Oh, I see it. It's got one shot. That thing's ridiculous. Ooh. No. Ah. Oh. Hit the building. Ooh. And you see the bazooka? Where's it at? Oh. Is it by the Luke? No, it just got killed. It, it was, it just died. Oh, okay. <laughs> was it the same guy? Same guy, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it wasn't sneaking, it was running, it was a... so it was... Oh. It's, it could be spotted easily. But, oh, easy shot. Oh, track damage, yeah. Dang! Yeah. Thanks, hardcore. One more shot. Oh, it's missing. Crazy. The crap load of bulk storm coming. There it goes. Oh, it's damage. Oh, yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, Volstrom, I think he's just trying to just take the, the river away um, using expendable troops. Yeah. But it didn't seem to work. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they got stormed themselves. Slowly. But that sniper, man. 25 kills. <laughs> Shit. That's intense. Yeah, you've just been sitting there Another one. away. Another one. I can't believe he hasn't done this. He's a good player, but he should shoot a HE shell into that window. Or on the roof. Because if you shoot the roofs in Men of War, they collapse and yep, kill the guys inside. Oh, just like that? Pop. Yeah, it's actually better to aim at roofs. Most buildings uh, collapse if you hit the roofs. Oh. I don't know if it's real, uh, real, real life or <laughs> realism, but that's what Oh, that's happens. cool. Well, one of my tactics is to run into the building. Do you think that's non-safe or unsafe? Um, it's just hard to do because really you have no control of units when they go into buildings in Men of yeah. War. They just do what they want to do, so yeah, it's unreliable. Really. Gotcha. But oh, oh, PC. He got him. Oh, he, he repaired it, right? So no, no, he still repaired it. Uh, no, he still. That's a Panzer oh, three. It's a lower tier, but but this H Panzer H will come by, come back and bite Simmers in the ass. I think. Yeah. So Jutsko in the ass. Because if that's repaired, oh, it's gonna be really tough to come back. But he's bloody holding just by holding the river weight. That, that is crazy. Tricky, tricky gameplay. You see a flamer? It's coming. Oh yeah, yeah I see, I see. Oh. I don't <laughs> Let's see if he can. I don't know if he can hit. Burning him. It looks like he can't he hit. one guy. Oh no, oh, he's dead. Pop. No, that wasn't worth it. He burned one guy only. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> what does burn, Simmers? Those guys are good mates, by What's the up? way. So they are. They, those guys are good mates. So yeah, they're not angry at each other. Just yeah, this is simulated angry okay. message. <laughs> it's not real, guys. <laughs> German. Ooh, you, you see Simmers? He's using the H as a oh, yeah. body guard for that croc. Yeah. Oh, shoot. So he can't shoot. That croc hasn't got a shot, basically. Um, Back is damaged. But some, but, but some reason, um, yeah, it's just crazy how Jutska's just holding without having oh, domination it. of the forces. Did he destroy the H? So he destroyed... Yeah, so that can't be repaired anymore. But that Panzer three looks like yeah. it's safe. But <laughs> safe uh, at least he got rid of the H though. He doesn't have to worry about it anymore. Indeed, definitely. He's doing good. So it's 46-25. Jutsen's actually pretty pretty ahead for not really winning the look at the score. If you go tab, uh, one seventy three to one oh nine, um that, that's yeah. a kill count score. But just because winning the actual assault squads game. That, that that doesn't happen a lot. Some people like a lot of people will destroy me tactically, but is that they'll win on the score, or sometimes <laughs> vice versa. Capping the flags, yeah, it's, it's tricky. I like it's, it's uh, one way to win, which is cool. Another way to win, I mean. Uh, what Simmers really needs to do is direct cook the grenades, because just throwing the um, Dennis is just throwing the grenades down there, which haven't, haven't been yeah. doing any damage. Eight crew struggling right now to to do anything. He's really capped on CP. I don't know if you're aware of the CP. I've, I've never thing. actually paid attention to the CP. To be um, honest. <laughs> 
Wait, is it 99 though? Okay. Yeah, 99 meaning he can't buy anything else because he can have command points, that's what it stands for, and basically you only can have a certain amount of units on the field, so you got to choose wisely yeah. what type of units. Um, so right now he can't afford any infantry to really go toe-to-toe -to -toe in the center, ex except the Volstrom, because the Volstrom is the lowest tier infantry and they don't cost much CP, but they can't really do much either, so he's... Can't throw them away. Um, yeah, so he, what, he's got, what, he, what I think he needs to do is use his infantry on the uh -huh. left flag, the western point. He's got so many units on the western point doing nothing, so maybe even pull back some of the defense there. Oh yeah, yeah, the yeah. Just, just tons of guys here. Cause this, Assault. Yeah, they're, they're not they're not being efficient. That happens to me a lot too, like I'll forget so, my, my units, you know? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, grenades in the center, doing not. Oh, he's got quite a few. Nice. Flat. He's tossing crap a lot of it. Yeah. <laughs> nah, there's a guy in the corner though. Not, okay. Like oh. Yeah. Ooh, 50 50 play, look at that. Oh! Oh my gosh. See, that's a 50 50. Basically, a Panzer III was a shitter tank than the Sherman. Uh -huh. And he got close enough. Close enough to be able to. And he pushed the H. You see the H? He pushed that all the way to the center. Yeah, a... <laughs> I noticed that. <laughs> Pretty awesome play, man. Yeah, the... Very nice lessons. Good usage of your wreckage. Indeed. So he's got the center. This is an proving to be an epic game, man. <laughs> this is really epic. Like, oh, there's another vehicle coming. On the left. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's just a Greyhound. Greyhound's um, got a pretty bad gun, but it's very lightweight and can um, quickly flank a unit. So maybe you can see a flank. Yeah. I see it. He's getting close to it. He's just oh. spinning around, though. Oh. Uh oh. Cringed. What's he gonna do? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was risky, man. That was risky. That was, that was really risky. <laughs> That paid off. Yeah. Oh, oh AT rifle. AT Where rifle. Where was the AT right. thing at? Uh, at the other oh. side of the bridge. Oh, I see him. I see him. Yep, yep. It's quite funny that um, Simmons is on the other side of the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> at the front line. There's no front line. Say <laughs> so how to get over there. What did he get? He's got another H out. So, wow. Some, some more trouble for the Americans. Yeah, it's going to be hard to counter. Really. Oh, oh, see, there's a guy behind him. Is it behind oh, the He just died. Oh, okay. Do you see the amount of dots on that sniper? Yes. Do you see? That is crazy. Uh, he's, he's veteran C5, which is the highest level. What you can do is if you click on the sniper, Hold select on. him. How do I do that? Oh, okay. And then you can hover over his name. Sorry. Uh, not his name. Where do you hover yet? over the veteran C. Yes, Hold on. I'm trying to do it. The text, the text veteran C. Okay, hold on. I, I clicked on him. Yep. Then on the bottom left, do you see where it says Veteran C5? Yeah. Under his name? Uh-huh. Hover over that and it should tell you the increase in oh, stats. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did see it. It's the, pretty damn good. Yeah, health regeneration went way up. Hmm. Weapon skill plus two. Yes. That's crazy. <laughs> He's uh, Major Koenig from, uh, I don't know if you've seen that movie. Oh, oh I have. What little, little fun fact. And he was a case. Yeah, I watched that movie nine case. times in the theater. <laughs> my times. I, I really liked it. Well, plus I, I did you? Did, what's up? I don't know. Sorry, just keep going. Right? I was gonna say like um, I, I knew people who worked in the theater, so like like half the time I was getting it for free. Um, uh, but yeah, I paid like at least five times to watch that. Yep. So, sorry, wait, wait, quick. Was this bazooka sneaking? Can you see it? Where, where's he at? Oh no, it's dead. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Where did we? No. Where did the? Where the shot at? Yep. Okay. Sorry, it's so fast paced. It's did hard you to keep up sometimes. <laughs> You get used to it, man. Yeah. It's just yeah, you're not used to the units at all. Yeah, and there's, there's um, a vehicle coming. Looks like same thing. Greyhound. Greyhound again. You think you can repeat the same tactic? All oh, right. It's just gonna be lucky. I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, it's not the type of play I like. I play by numbers, make sure everything's fine. But yeah, this is all about luck. Gotcha. This is all about. He's luck. coming in again. Let's see. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Full speed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What was that? No. Oh! <laughs> he hit the side of the bridge. <laughs> oh. Bad luck. That, that was bad. <laughs> that was funny. That was bad to happen, man. That was uh, that was lucky the first time. Gotcha. It was exciting to watch. Yeah, it is. It's maybe, maybe putting on a show. To be honest, maybe he's not showing his full hand because you know he doesn't want people to see his oh his tactics. His true, true tactics for the yeah. tournament. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good idea. 
pop. Do, do you have a favorite faction um, that you that you normally use? Uh, yeah, it depends on the the type of game. I mean, the type of size mm -hmm. of the game. So for one v ones, Japanese. Japanese. What, what, why them? Japan. Oh, their infantry, I think, are better. Is in because the one v ones are a lot about infantry yeah. at the start. They got the best submachine gun in the game. Do they really? Opinion, I... uh, the Type one hundred. Yeah, the fire rate on that is absurd. So if you spam those, you can really out out pin the enemy and um, overwhelm them. And also they have um, lots of other, basically lots of other units are cheap for their uh, uh -huh. what they do. So they have the Hago, which is the light tank, and Chihi Chinus, uh, lots of light tanks. Basically. Gotcha. Interesting. Uh, I'll have to watch some of those uh, Japanese videos. Yeah. <laughs> you know what happened there? Um, <laughs> Just, yeah. no, Jutsuka, actually Jutsuka actually took out the ammo from the from the looks somehow, and then oh, Sinus really? captured, the, uh, repaired the looks and went inside, and there's no ammo in there. So, oh, oh that's actually, funny. No, he did have ammo, but that's what Jutsuka said. Okay, never mind. Maybe they play mind games. Maybe I don't know. I think Jutsuka's giving up. Oh, it's it's still so early though. I don't know. What's uh. Yeah, it's still early. I would, if I was just going, I'll take the try to cap the western point because really, he hasn't really explored attacking the other points. Yeah, it's been all but center, mm. hasn't it? Yeah, it's weird. Usually, it's a fight over three flags. This has been quite static. Mm -hmm. Look, he's trying his luck again. His looks again. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I can't squeeze many punches again. Funny. Okay. Wait, it's a different angle though, so maybe it'll work. Maybe. Mm, I have uh, no faith. <laughs> you <have> no faith. <laughs> Let's Ooh. see. Here we go. Oh, no, he's turning. He's already turning. One shot. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you got it. Yep. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. So, he's not spawning anything. You can see just because he's got nothing on the other flag and nothing coming. He's given up. He's definitely given up. So it's Aww. 2G, I suppose. Oh well. Such a good game, though. I, I can see more of those, like, <laughs> happening over 25 more, 30 more minutes. Yeah, hopefully if it counts. I mean, in tournament, it's more intense because obviously it's fighting for their pride and honor. <laughs> oh, exactly. Now, this is a very great game. I, I really like the, the gameplay of both players. Yep, yep. Uh, conscripts, so, oh, it's already GG, I guess. Um, so, uh, in. So, how do you think you would have played? Would you play, have, have played better? Or played. <laughs> like, what, what tactical choices would you have made differently? If um, you were like the Americans? Well, if I was the Americans, really not fighting a head on battle with the H, and especially not doing the ground attacks, which are not going to work for sure. So, forcing the enemy to oh, move yeah. the H away, so I would have assaulted the Western Point a lot more. And force the H uh -huh. to fight me in close range because there's lots of buildings there I can hide from the H, and maybe yeah. even try flanking more from the eastern point. Not having a shootout because there's a lot of times where it was just a shootout between the uh, Germans and the USA in the middle, and obviously the sniper just went nuts. Forty-four oh, kills. You see that? Forty-four kills. <laughs> oh, that's insane. <laughs> that was so badass. That's crazy. I think I spent the entire game just looking at his, his target retinue, just pop, yeah. pop. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dang. Nice, man. Okay, that's yeah, GG. He, he totally went Major Koenig. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Alright, GG, mate. I'll just end the recording now since it's uh, all done. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but 